Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vodlitz Universe. You're watching Vodlitz Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about the Amex first prototype. And this tank, my dear God, is the ultimate premium for me. Uh, an ultimate medium at the same time. It's tier, nine, it's tier 9 tank, but it really can do a lot of good things even on tier 10, and you will see it. Uh, so let's take a look at the stats. As you can, as I told you last time, if you want to uh, just take a uh, pick on, on stats you are interested in, uh, just pause the video and just look at them. We'll, we're gonna talk about them during the video, uh, so it's just basically not to waste time. Let's look at the provisions. Um, consumables first, uh, multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit and adrenaline for provisions, uh, hot coffee, uh, improved fuel and protective kit. Mm, let's just look at loadout uh, 28 AP, 70 APCR, and 8 HE, which is uh, quite good. Uh, calibrated shells, of course, it works really, really great on this tank. Also, enhanced gun lane drive, vertical stabilizer, uh, improved modules, uh, enhanced armor, and uh, toolbox. Uh, Improved uh, optics, engine accelerator, and high-end consumables. Um, why I'm using enhanced armor? Just look at this. This tank doesn't have really much armor. As you can see, we're shooting super pershing, so tier 8 tank, and it still can be easily panned. The only thing you have is quite strong uh, upper front plate and the gun mantlet. The, basically, the tank is paper. You have this massive, massive gun mantlet, which will give you a great way to just bounce shots uh, against tier 8 as you can see you can side scrape a bit against tier 9 not even think about it um, but still as you can see the turret is mainly the gun mantlet you have a tiny hatch and those tiny spots on the sides of the turret uh, and also you have uh, 10 degrees of gun depression almost all the way around except for the back at the back you have 5 degrees only so um, make sure that you're not shooting from your uh, back but all the way around uh, you have 10 degrees which means you can just uh, go straight up the hill and just shoot and um, just look at uh, we're gonna take a look at two games which I hope you will enjoy and uh, we're gonna talk about the tank itself so as you can see the first great thing about this tank is its mobility its mobility is just amazing um, and why am I using calibrated shells? This tank doesn't have, have great DPM. Yes, you're right, it doesn't. So that really doesn't change much. But the penetration values with calibrated shells are enough, you will see, to penetrate uh, the tier 10 tanks like the Yaguru, which will be massive advantage for you. Because if you, the, what does it mean to have nice DPM if you can't really penetrate your targets. Simply nothing. So you need to um, be aware that if you can't pen, it doesn't mean um, you, it doesn't give you any advantage if you have a good DPM. Uh, but basically, we're gonna farm some damage here on the Siaguru, but the fun will start a bit later. Um, but still, let's go back to the tank. So uh, the main great things the definition of the medium is the mobility and this tank is really really mobile it goes almost like a light tank it doesn't have the light tank uh, camo of course but it does uh, does have great great mobility uh, also it has 10 degrees of gun depression as i told you it has a really nice gun uh, quite accurate with uh, quite good aiming time as you can see the dispersion on the move is great uh, it doesn't really get uh, much uh, spread, so it's easy to snapshot. Of course, the gun can troll you as uh, as any other gun, but if you aim it right, as you can see, uh, even those snapshots are going in with no uh, issues. And look how fast it moves back. Just <laughs> moving back and forth this time is just the joy of life. Um, and so, uh, I really enjoy it i really enjoy it i think it's one of the best tanks in game best mediums in game let's say uh i don't have amx uh, 30b hope i will get it finally because 
if this one is so good and I uh, know uh, some people that are uh, playing the MX 30B and it's similar tank uh, with a bigger hatch but the mobility of this tank can uh, really it's a great thing so you don't worry about your uh, hatch because enemy can't aim at it if you're moving so fast so I would really love to put my hands on uh, 30B but till then this tank is really really great because it doesn't have massive weak spots on, on uh, top and that means you can really uh, go hold down in the medium tank with uh, no armor <laughs> basically it's phenomenal but believe me it's making wonder and here we're gonna play as you can see second game we are bottom tier but we're gonna play aggressively and we're gonna manage to produce some nice nice game it's not gonna be massive game it's gonna be only third class but it was fun uh, and I didn't have much time to uh, make uh, video uh, make uh, some games as you can see the accuracy is uh, and uh, basically this game is, is funny, it's funny, we're gonna farm some damage, uh, we're gonna do quite fine, we will uh, find ourselves in a tough situation, but we're gonna manage to pull it off, and then we're gonna do some uh, fatal mistake, but still it's gonna be a nice game, and we're gonna do quite good, as you can see, all around the reds, and we are here with the paper medium tank in the middle, and our team is behind us, so it's it's good, it's good, okay, but still anyone from the enemy team will uh, HE us or uh, demolish us. Oh, this is the funny moment. Uh, hello, T54 uh, or T62, yeah, and bye bye. And he falls down, and yeah, it was funny. Um, but here we're gonna face the tier 10 heavies. Look at this, we're gonna pen them, snapshot and pen. That's why I use calibrated shells because. What does uh, DPM give me? Uh, nothing. As long as I can't penetrate, the DPM is really nothing. Hello, bad chat. Uh, yeah, uh, lol. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was fun. It was a really, really um, <laughs> good situation here. Um, but we're gonna see there are uh, some reds pushing on us from the from the left side. You will see in a moment. I uh, I noticed it, but I really want to take some shots. But we're gonna deal with the heavies. Look, it's a tier 10 heavies. And look at this. Just just look. Just look. Oh. Hello. IS4, no problem. T57 heavy. Uh, let's bounce him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's how this tank works. It can really bounce tier 10 heavies. It can bounce tank destroyers. It can bounce the Mother Earth if, if it's shooting on you. So basically, yeah, and look at this mobility. Look how fast we're going and how fast we are just gaining speed. And here was my fatal mistake. Uh, I know this AMX is on reload, but I didn't know that uh, he was on reload a bit earlier and that's gonna cost me my uh, life. I missed uh, the uphill and uh, so I was blocked here and it's an outloader so he can out DPM me. At least we did some damage and we won this game. So uh, it was all good. I hope guys you uh, enjoyed this video, hope you will subscribe because it will help me a lot, so consider subscribing to my channel, uh, leave me a comment which tank you want me to review and as long as I have it I will just review it for you and talk about uh, the tactics, basically uh, I haven't talked about the tactics, uh, yeah, <laughs> so you need to stay hold down, yeah that's the main tactic for this tank, take care, bye bye and catch you all on the battlefield.